you know, while we attribute a lot of spiritual, aesthetic, and emotional things to singing, singing is actually a physical process first. And if you're not in control of your physiology, you can't really be in control of the rest of it and how you present your voice. When I first started teaching, I was an artist and am an artist just like the artists that I work with. I didn't really know a whole lot more about singing and the physiology of singing than they do when they come to see me. I had to learn a lot when I became responsible for other people's voices, for other people's careers, for major budgets and major tours. You better believe I had to be worth my salt. And so I had to learn, I had to dig in, I had to educate myself even further in the process of the physiology of singing so that I understood the medical terminology, the vernacular that was used by the doctors and the surgeons that I refer to and who refer to me now and who trust me for my acumen and my knowledge in the field. And so learning more about it became a part of what pays me now. People pay me for my knowledge, they pay me for my acumen, and they pay me for my delivery. So the more you learn about your physiology, the more you're in control of the aesthetics, the spiritual, and the emotionality of your singing.